Yo, before the video starts, join the Discord link inside the description. If you need any help the video, I'm going to answer you over there. And we're almost at 1,000 members. So if you haven't already joined, join that Discord up. And drop a sub, drop a like if you found this video helpful. And let's get straight on to it. Alright, so for our first step, you're going to want to go onto the Pixlr E website. And so what we're going to do is going to um, create an 800, 800 image. And once you create that, you're just gonna go for your background and what I'm gonna be linking down in the description is a GFX packs and what that means is there's gonna be loads of different skins loads of different backgrounds I could pick to match your perfect profile picture so the first thing we're gonna do is add that background so just go look in the GFX pack look at what background you want to use and once you're done with that add it straight in and every image and everything I use in the video will be linked inside the description also and yeah so now what you're gonna do as we have our background is we're gonna blur this just a little bit to um to make the skin pop out more so we're just gonna go over here go to blur and once we're on that blur we're gonna make this at least like a 15 just a little bit blur it and it should look like this so the second thing we're gonna do is get a circle so you're gonna go over to your shapes and pick up a circle and then you're just gonna make the circle like you're gonna start from this uh, corner so you're just gonna go over here click the circle shape and then we're gonna put it like this and so you just want to start from the exact corner of the circle and it should look like this. So you're going to go from that corner to that corner and it should look like this. And so but now we want this circle to like, you know, you, you don't want to see the whole like circle. So you're just going to make this like quickly white. You're going to go over here to styles, go to outline and cl uh, turn off fill. And it should look like this. And we're just going to make this a little bit thicker. So it should look like something like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make the circle look a little nicer. So we're just going to add a shadow to it and it makes it pop out more. And now we want the circle to be filled in with pink and make it a little bit transparent. So you're going to go over here, duplicate layer. You're going to make this on the bottom. And then what you're going to do is turn off the outline in shadow. And then you're going to fill it in with um, the color to your skin. So I'm going to be using a pink color. And yeah, so it should look like something like this. And what we're gonna do is gonna make this transparent. So we're just gonna make it like a 50%. And so you can see right through it. So for our next step, what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna add the white to uh, topographic image to it. Um, inside the description, I'll be linking it in the Google Drive. And so what we're gonna do this is we're just gonna fit it to the screen. And so it should look something like this. Now what you're going to do is grab this white topographic and put it all the way to the bottom right here. And so as you can see, it, it uh, blends in the background. And it should look like this. So now we're going to be adding in our skin. So I'm going to be using the haze skin right here. And as you can see, right now it's um, not in the background. So we're, we're going to put it on top first. And now we're going to scale it, make it a little bit smaller, and put it in our circle a bit. So we're going to do this. And once you find a perfect size, then you're, you're chilling. All right, now, once you got your skin in the perfect position, you're going to add uh, your text. And so I linked the custom font that you should be using for this one. At least you can use any font, but I think this is going to look best. And so inside the description, I'm going to be uh, linking the Melgroth font. And so you need to download Renoir for this. And once you download Renoir, you should open up the file and it should look exactly like this. So you're going to extract the font to your desktop. And after that, you're going to go all the way back to Pixlr. And once you're at Pixlr, you're going to add text. You're going to go to add local fonts. And then you're going to go right back to your desktop. And then you're going to look for that font. And right there, we added our font. And you should be able to see it now on Pixlr. So now what we're going to be doing is adding our text. So we're going to go put this to the front layer. And we're going to make the text my name. So my name is Quit. And then we're gonna make this we're gonna make this a bit bigger. So 350, 350 sound looks like a good size right here at least. And so now we're gonna scale it, make it in a good position. This is all up to you. So if you want it like on top of here, like on the side, in the middle, I'm gonna be putting a mine towards like the middle of it, near the chest. And so what now we're gonna do is put this on the bottom layer. And now we want want this to pop up because you really can't see the test. So now what we're going to do is when we want this pop up because you can't really see the text of this thing. So you're going to put it where you want it and then you're going to duplicate the layer. And then you're going to put it above the skin 
And once you're done with that, you're going to go to styles, go to outline, punch out, and then make the size at least like a five and then make it black. So it should look like something like this. And what you can do is make it a little bit transparent if you want. If you don't like how it looks, you can mess around with this a bit. But yeah, that's really up to you. And all right. So once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, we're on top so you really can mess around with this make it how you want it i think a little bit more bottom yeah this looks a bit better so now once you're done with that you're just gonna save your image so you're gonna click save and um download as a jpg and just download it's full and yeah once you're done with that you got your profile picture right there and now i'm gonna be showing other examples with other skins and so now I'm going to be doing it with a, like a, you know, a, a ski skin. So I, I want to like a snow background. And so what I'm going to be doing is doing the same process, but I'm going to be hiding the skin. And so, yeah, so now we have our text right here. We're going to add that ski skin. So now you have our ski skin right here. So we're going to drag this back to the top middle of these two texts. We're going to go here. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Alright, so it should look like something like that. We're gonna make this a bit bigger and you know scale it a little bit. And what we're gonna do is change the color of our circle. And yeah, the way you're gonna do this is just pick a color from the skin to match it. And then you're gonna go to the shape of the circle, go like that, boom, and then that looks like that. And so we're going to just make this look a little bit better, scale it more. Yeah, you really want to mess around and make sure it fits perfectly. Because sometimes it could look a little bit weird if you don't. Um, I would say this is a bit, this should be good enough. And then for our text, uh, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, for some skins, you might might want to make the text bigger or not. So make this like a 450. Um, make it a 450 too. And then we're going to put this right there. And just like that. Just even it. And it should look like this. Um, You could make it smaller. I would probably say making this smaller would look better. Um, And yeah, you really just want to find the right spot to put it um, in the text. So you're going to make the perfect uh, profile picture. Something like that would probably look better. And yeah, you have that ready. So for our third one, we're going to be using a uh, ski skin, but it's going to be red this time. So we're just going to add image as layer. We're going to go over here. And so we're going to be removing our other one, previous one. And then we're going to put this back in the middle, just like this. Actually, let's remove these texts real quick so we can scale it right. Remove that. All right, and now you're just going to select the color. I'm going to make it a little bit red. Go to the shape of it. And where's the shape? Right here. You make it red. It's gonna look like that. Um, and let's go cool. find a red background. So we have a background right now. We're gonna add that in. We're gonna put the background to the bottom, and it should look like this. And once we have that done, we're just gonna add our text, or we already have our text. So we're just gonna select our text, and then boom, boom. We have that, and then we're just gonna quickly make it equal. And yeah, should something look like something like this, get a bit more even. And yeah, you have our third uh, and final profile picture. And yeah, you could use it with any skin. So if you want to use a different skin, all the skins and backgrounds you can use are inside the description. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy, Quit, and peace out.